sounds very nice. Getting a lot of big names signed up. It's cool. almost full. It's almost full. All right, as I said, my first guest, terrific young actress. She uh, just starred in the summer hit Fantastic Four. Her new movie is called Into the Blue. It premieres this Friday. Please welcome the lovely Jessica Alba. <laughs> Congratulations on Fantastic Four. That was a big hit, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. thank you. It, um, it, it broke the box office slump. Oh, well, that's so very we're good. Very, very excited. Good. Yeah, thank you, everyone who saw Fantastic yeah. Four. Now, I read something about you. I read that you, as a kid, you had OCD. What is that, the compulsive? No, uh, I did. I, uh, when I was a kid, for some reason, um, I washed my hands yeah. constantly. I was never the kid with filthy hands. And right. I would, like, lock the doors and unplug everything in the house every night. I, I just, a weird thing. I, but I heard you had a little OCD thing. Me? I heard you, don't you do something before you come out here? I don't pay attention. What'd you say? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, yeah, probably. I don't notice it. I probably like touch the wall or do something. You, you know what you do? What that, do I do? What do I do? You wear a lot of denim shirts. No, all I have is denim shirts. I have, every year I buy 20 pair of denim pants. So that's a little I, OCD. And I buy 40 No, so I never have to shop because I just wear the same thing, you know. I mean. And it goes with your eyes. And it goes with my, exactly. I do it because it goes with my eyes. That's the important <laughs> part. So when did you get over it? Do you still do it? Are you still? Well, I'm not like, you know. <laughs> no, I, really? I, <laughs> no, I mean, my, uh, yeah, I, I have, I make, I make cash wash his hands a lot too. Really? Yeah, huh? yeah, it's a problem. I don't know. Now I saw your movie and I enjoyed it very much. Now, and you're in, you're in the water a lot in this movie. Are you a good swimmer? Is that something? I am. Yeah. yeah. I um I started swimming before I knew how to walk. Actually, my mother was a lifeguard. Oh, okay. But um, what's funny is I was on a swim a swim team when I was nine, and okay. I was going through that awkward stage, and I was almost as tall as I am now. I was like five two right. nine, and I was overweight. And my parents thought it would be a great idea for me to be part of a swim team. Oh. And, and, you know, my brother and I have dark skin. Right. And everyone else was little and skinny and white. And then two giant Mexican-looking kids <laughs> in the water. Well, Mind you, we were the only ones that were mixed yeah. with anything. It was like a very Caucasian environment. <laughs> and, uh, and I would bring, you know, 30 relatives, and everyone would bring their mom or their dad. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and, so I'm, and I'm, like, the biggest one, so I'm in last place. Like, every meet, no joke, I'm suffering. I'm running into, the, like, the, the little wire yeah. in the middle and the side, and I'm going slow and dying and crying. And my dad's like, you got to finish everything you start. So I would hold up all the meats and, and, be, and be the slowest But one your there. family would cheer you on. My family was see, always there to cheer me on. See, that's the great thing about we the Latin thing. We were rolling 30 deep. Yeah. Like, the... you know, I'm Ital my Italian relatives, like when I got started in show business, I'd play a club, and other friends like their dad or their mom would come. My grandmother, my uncle, hey, Jay on the stage, come on, buddy, hey! And they'd be in the exactly. audience screaming at Jay, hey, pretty funny Jay! You know, I go, Uncle Lou, yeah. calm down. Will you and know? especially when you're bombing. You oh, yeah. want me to, like, draw attention. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I was always, like, the slowest. But then picture day comes, and my mom did, did full, like, glamour shots, like hair, makeup, big hair, yeah. lots of makeup. I'm nine, and I'm huge. And, and, you know, and everyone else is, like, little and, and I would cute. kill to get that picture. Can no, you bring me that? I know. I, no, I didn't I will bring it. $10,000 to anyone who has that picture. <laughs> It's now, in this true. movie, you spend a lot of time in the in your, in your bikini. Yeah, I do. Now, how was your grandma about this? I know your grandmother's pretty strict. Isn't she pretty strict? Yeah, my grandmother yeah. would never let us wear a bathing suit indoors or yeah. really around her unless we were at the pool right. at the country club. Yeah. So, yeah, whenever um, I was in the house in a, in a bathing suit and I heard like a... And I would look around, and I knew Grandma was coming with a fly swatter, hitting it against the wall to warn me that she wow. was going to get me with a fly swatter. Wow, yeah. strict Grandma. Yeah. yeah, she didn't. She didn't like my nalgas, is what she would call it. Your what? Nalgas. Oh. It's your butt cheeks hanging uh, out. Hanging out. Well, no. <laughs> well, I, I have to just disagree with her on that one. Not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why my my mom was fairly strict. Was she strict? I remember once my dad and I were watching a fight, because the kitchen was here, and there was a long hall, and then there was the TV room. Mm -hmm. And we're watching a fight, and during the fight, oh, I remember, I took the Lord's name in vain. Yeah, I went, oh, that's... and I hear this, what's that noise? My mother comes in with a pot, bong, just knocked me out. I mean, I didn't, no, way. no, I heard this, I go, what's that, is there another, bong, ow, 
alone. Just knock me out of the chair. Yeah, so the fly swatter is really not that bad. Yeah, no. <laughs> Look, let's take a break. More with Jessica right after this. Break. Picture. You're talking about your grandmother. Now, now, was she hot on your brother too? Was that a big? Uh... Yeah, my, you, when uh, when my brother was a kid, uh, especially the baggy pants were in yeah, style, right. and so his friends and he would come over with the big baggy pants, and she would just pull them all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She would just walk them, just be like, "You can't wear them half off. You just either <laughs> off or on. That's wow. how they go." Wow, grandma yeah. be in jail now. Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, come on. She was really not trying to mess with a 12-year-old kid. <laughs> well, <I know. laughs> now, do you, are you and your grandma similar in any way? Do you have any similar traits? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in, in, in protecting um, our, our men, yeah. Protecting your men? Yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> you have a gun? What are you saying? You're, <laughs> you're the jealous. Oh, well, I know you're very jealous. Is your grandmother jealous, too? Is she the jealous I'm not one? very jealous to a point where it's unhealthy. I'm healthy jealous. Well, no, I shook your boyfriend's hand, and you were like, hey, wait a minute. No. So, you, <laughs> so you, but you're the jealous type, huh? You well, know, yeah, you know, I protect him. Really? Yeah. Now, how about your? Now, how was your grandmother jealous? Would you would you see her? Was she that way with your grandfather? No, she absolutely was with that that yeah. way with uh, my, with my grandfather. Any girl that even tried to to look his way, she would go right in front of them. Like, but she wouldn't even try to be cool about it. Yeah, she yeah. would just go right in front of the women and and stop it right there. A lot of girls hitting yeah. on your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he's he's like a smart, you know, yeah, good looking, yeah. tall wow. business guy. Well, I saw the movie too, and you and Paul Walker have. Have a really good set of chemistry. Did you know him before this movie? Um, I met him once before the movie. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Now, but was, I mean, you know, I can what? have chemistry with the cup. I'm yeah, an actress. Well, that's, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice to know. Thanks. I feel better now. Great. Wow. Wow. Gee, I, I, I feel so much better now. <laughs> now, I read something, and, and this sounds really dopey, but I, 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 you know, I try to do my research on it. Okay. One of the magazines had an article about you and said oh, one brother. of your fantasies, you know what I'm going to say here? Oh, uh, no. Was to make love in the Oval Office. No. That's what it said. Yeah, no, that's not true. No, what, at what, all. What, what should it have said? That it, I think it was the in style article. In style. That's it what was I, in it style. was in style. Yeah. And and it was uh, you know what's hot to you and and they kept saying you know is it you in a bathing suit blah blah and I was like no it's me in a suit and being surrounded by men in bathing suits that's way hotter than, to me oh, okay. than a woman constantly being you know the the sexual object. Like, why can't it be reversed? And then they were like, yeah. well, right. <laughs> Yeah. And then, uh, and then I said, you know, we need a female president, and you know, maybe like a chick in a suit and surrounded by a bunch of little servant men. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was just like bouncing ideas off this lady, and then she put it in print that I wanted to have sex in the Oval Office. Well, so, I, I mean, that's how things get interpreted. In yeah, case just was wondering. wrong but, president, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Born a little. Wow. Born too late. The, uh, <laughs> no, no. So, so tell us about the movie. I enjoy the movie. You know, again, the, m the fun thing about this job is I see movies before I have any idea. All I know is it's into the blue. And then it turned mm -hmm. out to be this kind of this thriller with drug runners and treasure. And yeah. it, it, I enjoyed it. It's pretty good. Tell yeah, people what it's about. Yeah, it starts off as this really beautiful movie. And you yeah. just see like a day in the life of these of these island kids. And then it turns into a thriller because they find um, treasure and, and a plane filled with cocaine and dead bodies. Right. And it's like, what do you do? And, and then all of a sudden people are after them and, and their lives are all in danger so what? it's a fun popcorn movie now what do we have what's this scene here this is where uh... this scene I have a uh, 6'6 250 pound man handcuffed to me and I'm running away from the bad guys okay and he's dead he's dead and you okay when you're handcuffed and to I'm dead handcuffed guy. to him okay let's see yeah. what happens here we go Into the blue.
Stone is trying to buy. Jessica Alba. Here we go. Be right back with Julie McMahon right after this. Any way you want. That's good. Cool. All my next guest stars as a plastic surgeon, Dr. Christian Troy. That sounds like a great TV doctor named Dr. <laughs> Christian Troy. In the hit series Nip Tuck, it can be seen Tuesdays on FX. Please welcome Julian McMahon. <laughs> You guys know each other, right? You're old friends. Yes. We're old buddies. Yeah. I attempted to destroy her <laughs> <coughs> a few times yeah, off camera. Yeah. <laughs> On camera, we were great lovers. Yeah. Well, kind I shouldn't of. say that because Cash is here. Cash is here. <laughs> um, so we're really let's, great lovers. let's delete that. Yeah. Um, but uh, yes, no, we spent uh, six months basically shooting Fantastic Four together. Right, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And did. then we promoted the movie together yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Now, I know you're from Australia, and yes. your, your dad was the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister of Australia, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah Australia. Yes, <laughs> I mean, that's, no, what, people don't know At this know point, I will either. confirm that. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that, that seems sort of a, that, that would be like one of the Kennedys. Or that's something. exactly well, what yeah. he is. He's Kennedy Jr. It's so crazy. Yeah. I went to Australia with this guy. Yeah. He is a huge star everywhere and like people like bow down to him it's weird apparently well, I, have I, a I was surprised you didn't get on your knees sweetheart <laughs> but uh let's not talk about you know what uh oh here comes grandma oh, so here sorry. comes grandma that was that, that was is so not who you are that was so said wrongly though <laughs> i meant bow down anyway let's not same thing yeah you know no, we we went to whatever it's a smaller country right. it's a much smaller country yes and so it's a very different thing yeah. um uh but my father was Prime Minister of Australia. But between the years of, I think, 1970 or something like that to 73, so right. it was a short period of time. And I was probably three, four, five years old during okay. that. So no. I didn't really have much sense of what was going on, except for running around in diapers. And but what did they think of you going into acting? I imagine they would have wanted you to be sort of maybe a doctor or something in politics as well? Yes, I was supposed to be something a little different, a doctor, yeah. a lawyer, a okay. politician, something right. like that. Um, and uh, actually, initially, I went into to modeling which was a real no-no because, wow, yeah. yeah. Dads love that. Dads really love it yeah. when you say, I'm, I'm giving up my law degree and uh, I'm going to be a model. <laughs> now, did you do one? model? I mean, did you do the thing like in your underpants with the football? Did I did. Kind of I stuff? did a bunch of things in my underwear. Yeah. <clears throat> I like to stay in my underwear as right. often as possible. In fact, I wanted to come out here in my underwear, but they really? wouldn't let me. Really? Um, <laughs> Who wouldn't let you? Next time, you're going to do that thing. <laughs> So what was your first film? Was it American? Was it Australian? My first film was an Australian film. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, why? Why you? Well, I'm just curious. It's just something I'd, I'd like to forget, really. You know. But what was the name of the film? No, no. This I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. You are? Yes, yes, I am. Oh, okay. Um, Wet and Wild. Was, is that the name of it? Uh, seriously, this is going to be the end of my career. I mean, it was the end of it then. But okay, Wet and Wild Summer is the Wet and Wild the Summer. Film. Why do you want to forget this? What? what, what? Is it because well, you're, have you, you ever seen the movie? You probably yeah. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there's a scene that makes me. Do you know the scene I'm talking about? Is it the butt scene? The butt scene. Explain okay. the butt scene to people. I had just started acting, and it was, this was my first film, and and I was kind of a prudish actor type who. And didn't, your dad was prime minister. And my, da and my dad was prime minister, <laughs> and I. So I didn't want to be bearing my bottom, and uh, so I said to the producers, I said, I'm not going to do this bottom shot uh, thing, right. whatever. And it's a, a shot on a beach where the three of us kind of strip up off our bottoms. And, um, and so uh, on the day of the actual shoot, the producers came up to me and said, we've got uh, three bottom doubles for you. Right. And we want you to take a look at them. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, that looks great. Yeah, I really like that bottom. Anyway, so every bottom they, they brought to me was over the age of 65. Right. <laughs> And over 265 pounds, so oh, not good. it was a very different looking bottom than what I was expecting to put on screen. Right. So I decided to do it myself, and you've seen it. I said we, we have it here. You, oh, great! We, we have to, we have to, oh. we have to edit it. We have to blur out just a bit. Well, here, just to give people's night. Here it is. Let's take a wow. scene. Wow! Bobby, your impression. Kind 
to see everything there, wow. couldn't you? Now I heard you. We call that the bait and tackle. We're on the bait and tackle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you're up for, possibly for the James Bond role. Is this true? Oh, uh, that's a difficult thing to answer. I mean, I think that a lot of people are up for it. It's yeah. kind of uh, one of those beautifully iconic kind of roles. Would you want to do it? That'd be kind of cool. Bond, James Bond. Oh, that's good. That's not bad. <laughs> And here's my bottom, James Bond. Yes, exactly. And here's my bottom. And here I am bearing my bottom, shaken, not stirred. <laughs> I think I'd be. I think you'd be a good Bond. Oh, thank you very much. Because they've had Australian Bonds in the past. Right? I think they had one, George uh, uh, Lazenby. George Lazenby was an Australian. I, they've had a variety. And Pierce Brosnan was Irish, and, and, and Sean Connery was Scottish. Connery. So they were. Yes, you can no. kind of come from everywhere. Now, Nip Tuck, of course, a huge success. Yes, I bear my bottom in that. Just so really, you know, really. <laughs> In uh, fact, I make it a part of my contract now. Anything I do, I bear my bottom. Really? Is that I, part of the deal? I lost that whole actory thing. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't have it in our deal. But let me ask you this. <laughs> you, you play a plastic surgeon. I asked this question. That was very nice. Because, because, well, I'm asking you because Sorry. whenever we have people on that are doctors or lawyers, people on the street come up and they, they think they are that person and they ask them, do women come up and ask you questions about plastic surgery? Do they go, oh, how do these look? And this you know, thing? I get a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> He gets that anyway. <laughs> um, I definitely have had some strange things. I was at a dinner a couple of nights ago, and there was a, uh, a, a table of about ten women, and they realized yeah. I was walking by. And they went, "Oh, hey, you're the you're the plastic surgeon. Uh, do I need a breast job?" So that kind of thing happens a lot. And, and what do you say? Yes, of course. <laughs> you say yes. <laughs> what time is it? I'll see you at my uh, I'll see you at my house in about a half hour. Mm -hmm. I do private consultations. Really? Yes. Yeah. You can always stop by if you want to, Jay. No, now, I know. They're very expensive. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll come by and check it out. Now, you, now you had the big cliffhanger ending. Yes. Last, last season. season, yes. Uh, okay. The, uh, the carver came and attacked my character, Christian uh, okay. Troy. It's the carver, right? Now, the premiere yes. did very well, right? did very well. Yeah, we yeah. broke a lot of kind of cable records. We did the highest number on FX, and okay. we did the highest for the night uh, across the board between 18 to 49, which is a demographic type right. thing. Yeah, now, did you know if your character would be killed off or not? Did they say to you, or you just come back and you just sort of find out? No, I knew. I mean, you know, I have kind of a long contract because right. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> one of the leads on the right. show. Um, and so, <laughs> I hope, anyway. Yeah. And so it would have been a part of my contract to actually say, you know what, we're not continuing with this. Oh, so, okay. you know, right. I, I was told a little earlier. Plus, it's probably, it's probably a nicer way to break it to one of your actors. Yeah. yeah. Hey, listen, we're going to kill you at the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs> just, than just reading it. <laughs> yeah. And I uh, die. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, before you die, okay. will you sign our bike? I would love to. You can sign our bike and show your bottom. <laughs> Julian McMahon, come on over here. <laughs> anyway, Lars. That's the best. Be right back with the legend.